Welcome back to the shipyard. Today, we're talking about Quark's treasure. This is a ship, at least, that has had a fair bit of prominence in nationals and worlds, because it was a shuttle. Well, it still is a shuttle. I guess the competitive days of shuttles are, are not, a, not what they used to be. But there's, there's something to being able to put a whole bunch of stuff on a ship, and then dock that ship, make that ship safe, and transfer stuff to a capital ship and get a whole bunch more stuff. Anywho, Quark's Treasure is a 2222, 16 points. You get two crew and a tech slot. You add in things like cargo hold and you get more slots. Um, but cargo hold's in this pack, so we'll, we'll talk about it. But here's the best part about Quark's treasure. Now that it's uh, now that Ferengi's an independent subfaction, it's even easier to get stuff on it. But you do not pay a faction penalty when assigning any crew or tech upgrades to this ship. So that whole subfaction thing didn't even affect Quark's treasure. Also, you do not place an auxiliary power token beside your ship when using the docking or launching actions. It saves you an ox power, which is something. Um, the action bar is relatively meaningless on this ship, but it is what it is. It, the whole idea behind shuttles got turned on its head when you launched a shuttle with a template and then they didn't move and it's fine. That's all well and good. It, it it made more thematic sense, but it just kind of hurt what shuttles could do. Anyway, Quirk's treasure itself, fairly maneuverable, caps out at a three straight, which makes sense for a shuttle not moving all that quickly. And the generic version we can see is discounted down to eight points because of the, the Ferengi faction pack, which means that Quark's treasure itself would be due for a lessening in points should everything ever get recosted. All right, Brunt is a captain and says, action, when defending this round during the modify attack dice step, you may force one opposing ship to re-roll one of its attack dice, your choice, and you may field the Grand Nagus Elite Talent if you use the action listed on it. You must discard this card as well. Well, that kind of hurts. Um, we should look at what Grand Nagus does uh, in order to fully evaluate Brunt. However, this action is worse than Evade. I mean, I guess potentially it's useful if they roll a crit, then you can force them to re-roll that crit, but still, Brunt's a 3.4 skill captain, which most four skills are two points, and we have to address the elephant in the room, which is, is a Ferengi captain with no gold press latinum tokens. Yes, he came out before those were a thing, but the lack of gold press latinum hurts a, a Ferengi captain these days. So I'm going to skip down to gold press latinum, or sorry, Grand Nagus as a talent. And Grand Nagus is a five point unique talent that says action, discard this card to target every friendly Ferengi ship within range one to three. Each target ship may immediately perform an additional green maneuver. While I don't like the action discard, I actually do like targeting friendly Ferengi ships solely because the Ferengi Brel is a Ferengi ship. Some of the new Decora are playable, and getting an extra green maneuver is a viable option. It's not a bad, it's not a bad card. I don't like it on Brunt though, because performing it on a four skill captain means that all of your ships 
well, basically all of your ships are doing this before they've moved. And if nothing else, they are doing it before most of the enemies have moved. There's a scenario, or there are scenarios, missions, where th that kind of maneuver is potentially good. But I, I can't really see it. Quark is our, our next captain. And Quark is, is a captain. His action, discard all of your upgrades to take a ship, or sorry, to target a ship at range 1 to 2. Tar the target ship cannot attack your ship this round. Okay, that much is nice. However, you must discard at least one upgrade to use this action. Hmm. I mean, we, we can kind of do that. Discard all your upgrades. Yeah, discard all your upgrades to target a ship. So this is a one-turn attack cancellation as an action. And all it does is cannot attack your ship. Also, you cannot attack or perform any free actions this round. See, it was fine until the last sentence. The other ship still gets to attack. They just get to attack somebody else, whereas I am discarding my stuff. This quirk is a bad captain, and I'm running this quirk instead of crew quirk, which discounts my stuff, hides a thing. No. I'm just going to run the good quark. All right, a Zek is a captain and an admiral. So we'll talk about the captain version. Uh, it's two skill, one point with talent. See, that, that's what it should be. Action, target a ship at range one, disable one of your upgrades and one upgrade your choice on the target ship. This card can only be purchased for a Ferengi ship. Okay, uh, Zek is, is playable. Uh, not the best, but but playable. Th this, yes, there are better actions. Um, and I don't much care for the captain version. I do like the admiral version because you can move later, and then you can disable stuff, something after your opponents moved so that you can make sure that they don't get it until next round and that can swing the tide in your favor but only doing that as an admiral can really ensure that that happens just a thought okay we've talked about grand negus smugglers now this is a card well we'll, we'll talk about this Action. Target a ship at range 1 to 3. Discard this card to steal one tech or one weapon upgrade from the target ship, even if it exceeds your ship's restrictions. If the smuggler's upgrade is assigned to a Ferengi shuttle, the stolen upgrade is flipped face down and cannot be used by your ship. The shuttle may exchange the stolen upgrade with a docking ship. The docking ship may then flip the stolen upgrade face up and use it. The upgrade may only be purchased for a Ferengi captain assigned to a Ferengi ship. So, on Learns Bird of Prey, a generic Klingon Burrell, one of the Decoras, this works great. Smugglers is actually a really good way to steal stuff. And that's because there's no limitations here. The limitations is... Range 1 to 3. But no shields down, nothing else. And, and the fact is, you get to steal it and then use it for yourself. No time tokens coming on it, no disable coming on. You get to use it from that moment. And more so, you get to make sure they don't use it. So even if it doesn't help you a ton, now they're not getting to use it against you. You want to make sure they don't get that additional phaser array anymore? Yep. Or those photon torpedoes? Yep. Um, there's all kinds of stuff. I don't want to go through it. But even this Ferengi captain, Ferengi ship thing, yes, there's now viable Ferengi ships. There's also viable Ferengi captains with Damon Solok, Lurin. Smugglers is a playable card in this game. All right, uh, Inversion Wave, 
I think is a no OP card because it's a jump effect. Yeah. Instead of making a normal move, you may discard this card to place your ship anywhere in the play area within range 1 to 3 of your current position. Remove all tokens except critical hit tokens from beside your ship, and then place an ox power token beside your ship. You cannot attack with the round of use of this ability. Um, you know, it's a, it's a nice idea. Just being able to, to jump and move um, with limits. Because staying within range 1 to 3 of where you are, yes, it makes you very unpredictable. But it is a discard... It's instead of your move, it's and you're still back in on the play area for combat to take place. See, that was the biggest problem with Warp Trump, was you were skipping combat. Um, yeah. I, uh... Also, Inversion Wave is limited. So, yeah. I, I, I like Inversion Wave. Um, cargo Hold. Told you we'd, we'd talk about this. So target uh, cargo hold is add two upgrade slots, crew or tech. So two crew, two tech, or one of each to your upgrade bar. These upgrades cannot have a cost greater than four combined. Uh, yeah, that's a clarification. This upgrade may only be purchased for a Ferengi ship, and no ship may be equipped with more than one cargo hold. So, again, these can go on shuttles. These can go on the Ferengi Burrell. You get the idea. But it's one point for two slots. And and I'm okay with that. Uh, adding more crew is, is viable. Now, I don't quite buy crew. I think weapon tech would have been the way to go. But, you know what? I'll take extra crew slots. Uh, the oddball in this pack is Odo. Now, Odo is really good. During the planning phase, you may target a ship within range 1 to 3 and choose a crew upgrade on the target ship. If you do so, treat Odo, this card, as an exact copy of the chosen upgrade until the end phase in which you use this ability. If the chosen upgrade's action or ability requires it to be disabled or discarded, you must disable or discard this card to use it. So, Odo copies every single round. You can target a ship, your own ship, not your own ship, but a friendly ship, an enemy ship, it doesn't matter. You get to copy crew. And boy, is that powerful. I mean, yes, Odo costs five points, but you can copy unique crew and get a second use of stuff. And you can change that round to round. That is a huge, uh, a huge ability. Um, Nog is actually a pretty good card here. When defending during the roll attack dice step, you may discard this card to force the attacking ship to roll minus two attack dice for that attack. So even in a world where big attacks exist, Forcing an opponent to roll two less attack dice can save you. Now, is three points a fair trade? Mm, sometimes, yes. Sometimes, no. Three points is, is a lot to ask for a one-time effect. However, I, I think that there are times where that one-time effect guarantees that you will make your attack guarantees you will live to see another round and if you use it strategically you don't just say oh i've got this thing i need to use it um that puts you in a position where you can actually come out ahead with a three point card so something to consider rom uh, is the last card in this pack is also three points says action repair one shield token if this card is assigned to a ferengi ship you may repair up to two shield tokens instead of one i don't dislike rom uh, he's a decent action 
right? Repairing shields. He's a little slow. Now on a Ferengi ship, he's, he's better, but Ferengi ships also don't have a lot of shields. And the game tends not to last long enough to really make great use of this. But there's a there are times where ROM can be useful. Um, certainly in mission play or definitely campaign play, that's what I would I would say he'd really shine in those scenarios. So yeah, uh, that is Quark's treasure. Um, I think it's a really solid pack all the way through. There, the captains are a little shaky. Grand Nagus is not the best talent, but other than that, everything here is is good. And uh, this is a pack that, if you are looking for thematicism, pick it up. If you are looking for competitive play, pick it up. If you are looking for fun mission play, pick this up. There is, there's tons here for a lot of different play styles. And I, I think that no matter how you enjoy Attack Wing, you will enjoy something from this pack. All right, that's it for me. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, we'll see you around the shipyard. Merry Christmas, everyone.